In this freeform create example, we're going to use our file merge workflow to merge separate variable and master content together. Uh, so we're taking what is essentially possible in the enhanced freeform workflow today, and we're going to do it in freeform create because it's a visual interface that's much easier to work with. So we're going to choose our file merge workflow here, and we're going to find our master PDF. We click next. So now we go and find our variable content. And you can see here that we've actually got three different options for variable content. Um, I'm actually going to choose the employee option for this. Then you click create. So you'll see all of your pages are previewed here. Um, you can see all of your pages in your master as well as the variable document here. Um, right now we have six total pages in our master uh, because we haven't changed any settings and we've only got one variable page that's assigned at the moment. The concept of this newsletter is that we have three different cover options which can be uh, chosen depending on the intended audience of the newsletter. Uh, our three audiences are employees, uh, local businesses, or tourism partners. Uh, in this example, we are actually going to choose employees. So there's two covers that we actually don't need to use. It's very simple to go in and simply delete them so that this is the remaining cover that's left. So from here, you see that our master only has four combined pages per record. So now we need to add the variable content. And it's as simple as literally dragging and dropping the variable content onto the master where you want it to go. So you see that it appears here. And that's all we need to do to edit this file. So we switch to the preview mode. And you can see a visual preview of the uh, combined document. So at the bottom of the screen, you have two options on how to navigate through. You can navigate to individual records, or you can navigate through the pages within the record that you're viewing. Uh, we're going to go to the last page of this current record, which is page four, because that's where our variable content is. And we can see that everything appears uh, correct here but I want to spot check some other records. So you can either use the arrows to move through them or you can manually type in your record numbers here. I'm just going to spot check record number five. And you can see everything looks correct. Uh, the information is there. Um, our QR code is there. So now the document is ready to send for printing.